Precision Fight. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked in. Oh, he just heard him, he just heard him. That's a big strike right there. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated. Huge right hand! It's unreal. Ooh, what a punch. Head kick is blocked. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. That knee, that knee hurt him. Big elbow there, lands. Combinations here. Shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, oh! whoa! His own offense may want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Connection there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Beautiful body. He's trying to double up on that jab. Big left hook coming is blocked. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh, he might be out. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his...
All right, coming up next, a lightweight tilt between Vanille Daryush and Rafael Dos Anjos. So here we go with round one. It is not a question of if, it's a question of when this fight hits the ground. You've got a grappler, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Most people think we're going to get a grappler's delight tonight. Yes, we are going to get a grappler's delight. But for the Jiu-Jitsu player, for the Jiu-Jitsu fighter, he cannot allow for himself to constantly be on his back. Because in the grappling realm, not only do these guys possess great submission skills, but the ground they pound. The advancements in the position is so key to the game. He has to make sure he's not thinking this is a jiu-jitsu match. This is a fight. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Good work from the top here by Dos Santos. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. So our use of shot there is blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 35 total strikes have now landed for Rafael Dos Anjos. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking this shot. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking. Oh, disguise that. Nice trip to get the takedown from the clinch. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, one hammer fist after the next. Not sure how many more he can take. Every time he throws this, he is looking at the finish. You gotta move. The fight is about to be stopped. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Switching stances here. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Darius. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by RDA. Oh, working hard here against the... strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Big call punch land. Now he gets back to range. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. a minute now to go in the opening round. Well, plenty of time here to go in round one. He has really gotten off to a good start tonight. He and his corner prioritized an aggressive, all-offense start to this one, and that is exactly the way it's played out. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past. Oh, there he is. He lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is a
goodness, what a fight. And don't be surprised to see him win a $50,000 performance bonus by the end of the night as he stops his opponent there in his tracks. Courtesy of that elbow. You know it's been a part of his repertoire for a long time. Beautiful technique. He's got a lot of power with that limb, and he certainly made his opponent pay here tonight. All right, let's go inside the octagon now. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 39 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Benil Benio. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional.